let's get everything prepped out, get it ready to go and get this thing dipped. I know you guys are really gonna enjoy it. So um, pretty much kind of talk a little bit about uh, our plan of attack on doing something like this. So of course we've got the front face up here that we're going to be doing. We've got this top portion all the way around in here that we're going to be doing. And then we've also got this section back here that we're going to be dipping as well. And so uh, kind of looking at this whole, uh, this whole part here, we've kind of looked at that we're probably going to be doing this in at least three dips. And so uh, the main reason is, is that uh, we can do this top section right here in one dip. And so we have a nice little line going down through here. And then of course we have one dip like that. Uh, the other one is going to be on the front face of it. So uh, we'll wrap all of this in one dip all in through there. And then of course the back is going to be pretty self-explanatory. We do all of this in one dip. So that's pretty much how we are going to do this. Um, now the one neat thing about uh, the way that we're going to do this is that uh, we're going to try to do this with no rinsing okay and so what I mean by that is is that we're going to dip the front piece right here and then we're going to dry it off uh, do not rinse it and then we're gonna do the back piece we're gonna dry that off and not rinse it and then we're going to do this top section up here and then dry it off and then um, I'm sorry after we dip the top section then we're going to actually rinse it for the first and only time and so um, I know we don't do that a lot in the videos, but we figured this would probably be a pretty decent candidate to do it with um, because we do have some edges and everything that we can, you know, pretty much go right over and it's not really going to matter because we're going to come back in and we're going to black these in already. So we already know that going into it um, and we don't have to have that exactly perfect line like what we what we would normally need in a uh, in a dip like if we're doing a double dip on like a gun stock or something like that um, so uh, let's go ahead let's get some paper on this we'll get it all taped up so then that way we can get the first dip and so we'll probably go ahead and start with this uh, back section right here so uh, we'll do the back we'll do the front do the top uh, I guess really in uh, either way it doesn't really matter which way you go about doing it um, the main thing is that we're just going to try to get this entire thing dipped all the way around. So uh, we'll grab some paper, we'll grab some tape. Now again, with something like this, I'm not too concerned about getting my lines exactly perfect because whether they overlap right here, it doesn't really matter too much because I know that I'm already going to take this and uh, we're gonna black out these sections here, these sections here, and we're gonna black out like this band right here. So that's gonna make it really nice. So whenever we go, to um, have one dip to another. Um, we already have that line right there that's going to break everything up. So um, we'll take this here, wrap that around up and underneath right here. And then now all we need to do is, is tape all of this right here and then we'll be good to go. And so again, we don't have to be exactly perfect with this. We just mainly just need to have everything covered pretty much as close as possible right on that band. All right, so perfect. So as you can see, kind of looking at this here, I've got everything kind of tucked in nice and neat all in underneath here. I've got uh, my line taped off right there. So then that way I know going all the way around into this. And then the only other thing that I'm going to do is, is I'm gonna tape off these eye sockets right in here, mainly just to help prevent any of the film as it's wrapping around or wrapping up or anything like that. It helps it flow in and then wrap back out. So then that way we get uh, a good dip all the way through here and it doesn't pull any of that film back into it. So we can turn this over and tape this up really nice and neat. All right, so perfect. So now that we have all of that, now we have everything ready to go for the dip itself. So um, as far as the film goes, um, we have a film that we've ordered and so uh, we're going to be dipping it. It's more of like a desert type of um, uh, camouflage. And so pretty much we'll get this, we'll get it 
laid out and get it started. So we've got our film laid out here. So the one thing that we're gonna do is, is um, we're going to try to take the helmet and then roll it all the way around like that. So then that way, pretty much the helmet will take like this and then we're going to roll it on into itself just like that there. And so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take this, we're gonna figure out the amount of film that we're gonna need. And in this case, I think this right here should be more than enough for the film. All right, so we've got that all there. We've got all of this covered right here. Now the trick to this, because we're not rinsing anything off, is that we definitely want to make sure that we prevent any of this film from getting any of this wet, or if it does get wet, that's fine, we can dry it off. But the other thing is that we don't have any open areas for any of this film to attach onto here or up into there, because of course then um, we could see it come through on the next dip. Um, the good thing is that because this is a, a camouflage, um, it does have lighter and darker spots, so it somewhat will blend in, but you still wanna to try to make sure that you prevent that as much as possible. So, we've got our film cut out, and we'll go ahead and cut this just like this. And then now we're ready to lay it down onto the water. I'm gonna dry this off right here really well. Now that we got that dried off, I'm gonna use the edge of the tank to act as a guide to help pull this right over the edge onto the water. All right, so uh, we've done a little bit of testing on this and it seems to work a lot better at the uh, minute 20 mark and so We'll take the air and blow out any of the air bubbles that we have in here. Just like that. And so now we just need to contain the film back together. Now again, um, on something like this, we're going to be using the Liquid Concepts activator. And then normally it would be at one minute at 80 to 90 degrees. Right now we're sitting at about 82. But um, in this case, after testing this uh, quite a bit, actually, um, we came to the conclusion that it works a lot better at the minute 15, minute 20 mark, maybe even a little bit more than that. But uh, we seem to get pretty good results about minute 20. And so this is always uh, another reason why it's still good to test the film and make sure that um, you, know, you get a good wrap and that everything goes well before you lay it down in the water for the first time. So. Uh, timer's about to go off. Let's grab some gloves and then um, we'll spray the activator first and then grab some gloves and then get started. All right, so we've got our activator on here, got the gloves on. Uh, the other thing that we kind of noticed was, was that uh, we did have to let this sit with our activator, with the Liquid Concepts activator, we did have to let this sit for just a little bit longer to let the activator kind of dwell and then let the film fully glass out and liquefy. So we've got our helmet right here. And it looks like everything's starting to glass out really well. Looks like everything's looking good. So we can start dipping this down into the water and rolling it on in. So, first dip is done. Take a look at it. Everything looks really good. We got good coverage all the way around from here, all the way around into here. Also, we got really good coverage all the way around the bottom side right there. 
It's exactly what we wanted, so definitely call this a good hit. So, at this point, because we're not rinsing it, we're going to set it in the rinse station, we're not gonna turn it on, but we're gonna pull all of our tape off, and then we're going to dry everything off. Once we get it all dry, then we're gonna take and then do the back side. Once we do the back side, then again, we'll do the front or the top side, and then we'll rinse it one time, and then everything will be dipped all in the three parts. So let's get this all uh, untaped, and then we'll uh, get it ready to go again for the second dip. So here we go. everything all blown off we've got everything dried and so I think after looking at this we might go ahead and try to do this in two dips and so what we're gonna do is, is we're gonna actually take this film right here and start on this side right here and try to see if we can get it to go all the way back and around right here so then that way it covers all this front face right here as well as this side again we don't really care too much about right in here because we're gonna come back in we're gonna blacken those areas but um, we're gonna see if we can try to get all of this done in one dip. So um, again, we've already got everything all blown off. Now it is still wet right on this area right here, but it's not dripping. And so that's the main thing that we wanna make sure of is that it's just of course not dripping, um, but that way everything is dry up in here. Now that's really critical because if there's any PVA that's extra from the dip that gets over here onto the, um, the paint, it's not gonna stick. If there's anything that's wet that gets from here onto the painted surface, it's not gonna stick. So um, this is really one of those things where you gotta be really careful whenever you're going from the dip right here to a painted surface right here and you're not rinsing in between, but you're using the PVA that's right here from the first dip to help block the second dip from adhering to the first dip right there. So. Um, hopefully y'all all, uh, followed that. Um, if not, then of course hit the rewind. You can watch it again. Um, but anyways, so let's go ahead and get this set here. So we're just set that right there and we'll get our tape laid out here. So again, I'm laying out uh, plenty of room for the film to have enough to wrap around these edges right in here and right in here and of course, up and then around. Same thing, we're gonna start in right here and then we're just going to roll it on into it. And so um, we'll go ahead and cut this. All right, let's get this on the water and see what we can do with it. All right, so again, just like before, we've got uh, a minute 20 on the time and got a little bubble right there we'll just pull that out just like that and then we'll start to pull our dividers in so again on something like this because it's a more random pattern because it's not a, um, a, a fully directional pattern we're able to kind of do this and get away with if it overlaps or something like that it's not a big deal um, but if this was say a carbon fiber or something like that uh, we would definitely be going with a totally different approach to that to make sure that all of our carbon tries to line up as much as possible or anything like that. So um, we got about, uh, looks like about 15 seconds left on the clock here. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get ready. And again, once the timer goes off, we'll grab the gun, spray it just like we did before. And then of course, dip it from the top side right here. And then we're just going to roll it in. In this way, we'll probably just go this way like that. Um, all right, so let's get started. So again, we've got the part right here and then I'm gonna keep holding it like this until I am ready to actually dip it down into the water. And then of course, I'll just take, put my hands down in here and then we'll just slowly roll it on into itself going that way. And just like before, we'll take and we're gonna wait just a little bit longer 
uh, you can see the film is starting to really glass out really good. Um, so pretty much right about in this area right here is kind of where we want to be at with it. So we'll double check, make sure everything's good, nothing's wet, everything looks good all the way around. So let's go ahead and start dipping this into the water here. So a little bit harder because I was having to push down and of course it was wanting to uh, uh, pretty much hold that air in there. So definitely had to account for that as we're going down into the water with it. But all in all, I think the dip turned out really good. So let's pull this back out, get all that out of there. So yes, everything looks really good with it. Um, again, whenever we rinse all this off, That'll all come off, so not a big deal at all. But we've got the dip all the way around here. And then of course, we'll turn this around, get a full shot of the back here. And looks like we've got a really good dip all the way around into there. So um, now all we gotta do is to start rinsing it off. All of this right here, that's excess right there. You can literally just wipe it off like this right here because the PVA from the first dip is preventing it from attaching to the second dip. And so again, you can kind of see just by just moving it right there, you can literally just uh, rinse it right off. And that's what the, uh, the water will do whenever we start to rinse everything. So um, all in all, great dip. We got good coverage all the way underneath here. Um, so uh, I'm pretty happy with it. So let's get it rinsed and um, we'll show you guys the end result. So stay tuned. All right, so we're back, and so after looking at the dip, after the rinse, after everything was good, um, we started thinking about it, and you know, everything came out really good right in through here, um, but kind of looking at it, it did have a little bit more stretch than probably what I really wanted to have on it, um, and so kind of looking at it a lot more, we decided we'd go ahead and just keep it with the three dips like what we originally done. Um, you know what, we tried, didn't quite work out, so, uh, quick and easy uh, setup we just taped off right in here we taped off the front of it and then of course as you can tell we just repainted the back real quick so then that way we have our line going right down here on a nice body line all the way around which is what we would have done uh, to begin with so um, I've got everything set up I've got everything laid out already cut ready to go so let's see if we can get this in the water here All right, so everything's looking pretty good. Again, we're gonna let this sit. We're going to let it glass out just a little bit longer um, with, uh, with the inks and everything. So then that way it pretty much is ready to be dipped. And then this is gonna be a pretty straightforward dip. We're just gonna go in just like that and then just let it go in and then it'll wrap around this way, wrap around this way. And then once we've got all of that, then we can pull all the paper off, pull all the tape off and then of course go ahead and um and rinse it so um everything's looking really glassed out good right now so let's go ahead and get this dipped so here we go All right, so we've got everything all the way around. That's as far as we need to go. And then of course, we can pull that back out. And we got a good hit all the way around, which is exactly what we wanted. And so now we can start pulling off all of our tape and our paper all the way around. So then that way, all that we have left is just the film itself. Now again, if you wanted to do this um, after you rinse it, you definitely can. 
or if you wanted to do this right now, it's uh, strictly more of a personal preference than anything. We're gonna go ahead and start pulling this off now, and then that way, that will help get all of this off a little bit quicker. And then of course, we can go ahead and rinse everything. And you can see where we put our line at, right in through there. Pull that off right through there. So again, you can kind of see we've got our tape line right in through here. So all we gotta do is, is pull this off. All right, so pretty much you can tell coming along into here, we've got a really nice line going all the way through there. And then of course, we've got our dip going all the way through that. Again, I don't really care too much about this. We're gonna come back in, we're gonna black that in, um, hit those areas like that. So not a big deal at all. So let's go ahead, we'll get this in the rinse station. We'll get it all rinsed off, get it dried off and then um, show you guys the end result, so stay tuned. All right, so we got everything done, everything is all dipped, touched up, and it came out amazing. So uh, we're pretty excited about it, kind of go over a few things with you. So uh, as you probably saw, we did the front part of it in one dip, and then we tried to do the second part all in one dip as well. Didn't quite work out exactly the way that we wanted, so we came back in, and then we dipped it from uh, this right here all the way down um, pretty much you can hardly even see that there's even a line right in through here so uh, hid really well we're really happy with it and then of course we've came back through and we have airbrushed in a lot of the black areas all in through here and then of course all in through here to give it the actual real life-size appearance of what a stormtrooper helmet should look like from the movies and all of that. So um, I think the customer is definitely going to really love it. Uh, we came back in, like I said, and did all of this uh, with the paint instead of a decal. So then that way everything is all 100% into the coating. And then of course we used our flat clear over everything. So then that way we had um, a durable uh, coating all the way around all the way through the entire part. And so hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. I know we always do. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, definitely leave them below. We'd love to hear from you. And let me know your thoughts on the helmet, how it came out, if you would have done anything differently. Uh, definitely would love to hear from you. Also, if you have anything that you'd like to see on upcoming videos as far as anything hydrographics related, definitely let us know in the comments below. We'll try to get those up for you. And also, if you haven't already, definitely hit the subscribe button. We'd love to have you subscribe to our weekly tips and tricks. And if you like the video, give us a big thumbs up. I'm Brian from Liquid Concepts, and this is how we customize your world. We'll see you guys next time.